what's going on guys we're going to be reviewing this 2021 audi q5 so we are in the 2021 audi q5 and this is what we're working with. All digital, touch screen infotainment system. Personally, I feel like it's actually not too bad. It's actually pretty roomy. Um, I'm a pretty tall guy, 5'10". And I think that there's plenty of room for front and the back seats. particular the infotainment system was pretty nice too um, it was a little confusing for me at first honestly um, I had a hard time trying to connect to my phone um, I think that they could have maybe made like a knob but everything's touchscreen um, I think maybe because I'm used to a knob usually when I'm touching anything that's infotainment um, overall not bad I feel like they could have stepped it up to make it a little nicer, but you know, it's still nice. It's still nice. Alrighty, so we've made it all the way to the back roads, and we are going to drive this in the dynamic mode, which is their support mode for Audi. And so far, let's see how this goes. Um, I was driving on Comfort earlier, and I want to say that definitely notice a difference in suspension it's a lot more stiff front i can take more turns better um a lot less body roll throttle uh, i want to say um, throttle's pretty good um i'm not really sure if it's lagging or not it lags very little very little A 
that's not even me slamming on it yet so brakes really good um, I've had really good brakes in my other cars I feel like um, definitely definitely really good brakes let's do a little pull right here Feels like a good. Mm, I want to say a good like 270 horsepower. Like that's what it feels like if you compare it to other cars in terms of like torque. Like a good 268 torque. That's what it feels like. Really good car. Definitely recommend if if you live in the um in an environment like this. Where you had to go drive through you know, a whole bunch of twisty roads. This is a really nice car to drive with. I highly, uh, highly recommend it. and we are on the main road so um, just want to give you my personal opinion when it comes to stop and go traffic and and whatnot personally I don't think that there's anything wrong with it for the um, most part um, it drives really smooth and it picks up these the, um, little bumps or imperfections on the road a lot more than the other cars I've driven that are SUVs so definitely um, would uh, keep that in mind if you're trying to go on a test drive that's just something that you're gonna keep in mind uh, in terms of speed getting on it's a little slow at first honestly that's just my opinion some people you know don't mind it I personally think it starts off a little slow to to go with the flow traffic um, so I think that's like one thing one ding off my personal list um, everyone has their own point of view so definitely something to uh, think about um, braking power in terms of street driving um, or you know stop and go driving it's it's perfectly fine it stops really great I um, what's it called? I, I also showed the braking power a little bit in the back road so you can kind of get an idea that it would apply the same almost the same if not better you know well, stop and go traffic you should be able to stop really well um, overall like my review I think it's a great car um, definitely if you have the time to drive one and check it out I would highly recommend it thank you guys